Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Engertopia. The engineer's paradise that is growing and growing, and all oh, that's even lagging, it's quite growing quite a lot. Now, last time we built this giant pit, and all I have to show you for it is not a lot of money left. <laughs> Yeah, the idea was to build an in well, an architect hell basically. Uh, but unfortunately, it completely rinsed all of my money, absolutely all of it. So I've been trying to get back into the positive. Yeah, and the way I did that initially was I I set up loads of geothermal plants, and then I just connected all of their electricity to the outside of the map where I'm selling it for decent profit. I've even got a nuclear power plant on the go. Um, oh, but actually, are these not working because they've got garbage piling up? Is that why I'm not making that much money? Yeah, we're working at 50% efficiency because garbage is piling up. Oh, and mail handling. So if I just shove like a mailbox outside, is that going to solve some issues? I didn't realize for some reason, I didn't realize geothermal plants and nuclear plants required mail service, but they do. Right, for some reason for doing all that, we gained a new signature building. From the humble toaster to the self-organizing sock drawer. I've got one of those at home. Literally just put socks like however they go in the cupboard. And when I come back, they're all like sorted and like paired up and stuff. It's amazing. It's been like that all my life, actually. I just assume that's just how they worked. Anyway, I'm just going to go around and give everyone the gift of mail. Yeah, I think when I placed these before, I, <laughs> I did them all in like a little area thinking it didn't matter where they go. Turns out it does matter where they go. But yeah, so I think the mail handling should go back up. We do have the garbage issue though. Now at the moment, I think all the garbage from a city comes over to here. This is Architect Island where the architects live. Now, you can see they're surrounded by a poop moat. But if you zoom in, their actual, their actual natural habitat is just landfill. Ah, that will be why we've completely filled up Architect Island. Yeah, both of them. There's no more room for stored garbage. So we need to do something to try and to try and sort that. Otherwise, that is going to be a problem for everyone. For some reason, it's only like the big buildings struggling, like the International Airport, the nuclear plant and stuff. But I imagine it will be a problem for everyone at some point fairly soon. Now, being a huge city, I got a load, I got a load of progression points. So let's go have a look in the garbage, which sounds like I'm going to go through the garbage, but I just mean look at the upgrade. So we've got incineration plants. Ooh, that could get me more energy. An energy I can sell. Alternatively, we could recycle, but I'd be surprised if that made me money. Ooh, selling the recycled materials creates additional income for the city. And then if I were to get those two, I could unlock at the end industrial waste processing. That doesn't say anything about money. So I definitely, I just want to pick one of these two. So I guess I'll do what engineers do when they need to make a decision between two things. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch an architect by its toe. If it bites, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, incineration plants it is. And annoyingly, I can't afford one of those yet. They cost <gasps> a million quid. How much am I making? 24 grand an hour. Why am I making so little? Oh yeah, I'm making so little because these aren't making the energy that they should do. I just need to, I just need to get on this ASAP. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm taking, I'm taking a loan. I'm borrowing more money. Cheeky million quid loan. Get the incineration plant unlocked and then I'm going to shove this. I'm just going to shove it down here for now. All right, we can upgrade this. Yeah, let's get more, more garbage trucks on the go. So that's upgraded. All right, nice. And you can see all the trucks leaving now. Something else I might do in my services. Should I invest more money into the garbage management? I can make it like way more efficient. If I, if I do 150% budget, then that should... Yeah, increase processing speed and the number of garbage trucks. Okay, I think we're good. So hopefully these will get their garbage sorted soon. I mean, they're still waiting on the mail, so that hasn't worked too well. But as soon as these are back up to normal production, we should be good. I'll tell you what, what I may need to do is continue investing in these wind farms because these will never complain about garbage. They're very, very good wind farms. But yeah, one other thing I need to do before we do anything is try and get the power from this incineration plant and try and get that like out of this hole somehow. Um, oh, by the way, look at all these trucks. They're like, they're queued up trying to leave. There's so many. Look at them all going up the wall. There's so many of them. But yeah, I'm going to grab a power line, connect it to that. Probably say elevation negative so it's under the ground. And then if I come over here... Can I then get this out? Yes, we're up to the we're up to the surface. Okay, so we can go connect this over to well, probably just over to this one. I don't think my dam's producing that much power. Now, this power line does just go to the edge of the map, by the way. It is just being sold. 
But yeah, our dam's only... Oh, our dam's making 280 megawatts. That's decent and unexpected. Now, that is something else I need to try and fix, though. We are... We're severely leaking poo into the river. So I definitely need some sort of overflow from this. All right, well, winter has now hit. And unfortunately, Engertopia is looking cold and bleak. We're into the negative money. I'm losing 30 grand an hour. Oh, no, just five now. Some of these plants that didn't have garbage piling up now do. So it may have to increase taxes for everyone. Industrial tax, commercial tax. I've got to tax everyone a little bit. I'm sorry. All right, there you go. Back in the positive. Phew. So yeah, Engertopia in the winter is a... Oh, I was going to... I was about to describe it, but the game decided... No, that's enough winter for you. It's... It's melting time now. Anyway, I am considering getting like another incineration plant up over here just because like we need the cash. We need the cash bad. Should I borrow another million quid? I'm going to borrow another million quid. This may be stupid. Get rid of the rubbish from the nuclear plant. What are you doing? They have got rid of it from the geothermals. Oh, yes, the nuclear plant's up and running. And yes, money is now up and running. There we go. 60 grand an hour. Oh, that feels better. I was worried I'd cocked all this up, if I'm honest. Okay, we're back. We are back. The traffic coming into Engertopia from here is obscene. Now, in the real world, I was I was an engineer, a civil engineer on the highways for over a decade of my life. So I know a thing or two about trying to fix traffic. And in this situation where there's not really any space to... Like, I could try and make this wider. I could try and put, like, a dedicated turning lane for off there. I could try and remove the traffic lights from the middle of the motorway. All sensible ideas. All sound good. Anyway, a technique we sort of learned when we're constrained by other factors. Like, we can't really make a wider road because we don't want to impact the pylons. We definitely can't make this road longer because, well, that's the edge of the map. But what you can do, it sounds bizarre, but if you make the road longer, you can actually ensure there's less traffic on the road. And I discovered something very, very cool the other day. And I think I'm going to try it here. I'm going to do like a two bird, one stone solution. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab the landscaping tool and then we're going to go with the shift terrain tool. We're going to go up quite a bit. Yeah, we're talking at least that sort of level. We're... We're competing with the dam in, some, in terms of height here. So let's grab level terrain tool. Basically, if I just do a large circle like this. So we have a large a large load of land like that. If we grab a two-lane one-way road, there we go. And if we start building up here, but we make it higher, we do page up. So if we just go up all the way, we can then start up here and then do a little bit of a circular road. Then as we come back, we can go down 20 meters and then do the same thing again. And then down another 20 meters. So we're just 10 meters above the ground. Right, and then if we were to then lower the elevation from 10 meters down to zero, we'd have our road on the ground. Now we don't want that. We've always got to be like in a bridge, in a pillar. But what we can do from this point is we can we can lower this. So if we select like 50 meters like that, right click. And then up here, we just lower the land down. You'll see the pillars have been extended, which means they're, they're higher than the 50 meters that the game originally gave us as the max. Then we can keep on going lower and lower. And then after all that, you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. So this is my nice little extended twister highway. Now what I want to do down here, I want to do a little bit of softening of the terrain. So just like that to make this look all natural again. All right, perfect. Now no one would ever know what I've been up to here. All I had to do was take this up and over there. And then connect it to the in road. And then the upper road, which comes all the way back down. I just go from here and then connect back down there like that. So basically, everyone has to take a detour up the Helter Skelter. Now, I've just realized, oh, I've done this all in like really slow roads, not highways. So I think I need to select highways, two lane, one way highway. That's what I was meant to use. And then I just got to go around and replace it all. Yeah, because otherwise everyone's going to be driving way too slowly. Oh, there's so much road to replace. Because look, I can only replace tiny little bits at one time. So yeah, I've just remembered actually the other thing we learned. Not only taking cars like a longer route can reduce traffic, surprisingly. Also making them go slower can also reduce traffic. 
Yeah, that's why you often see on like on like motorways where they have like gantries with like variable speed limits. They try and slow you down early because see up here there was still loads of traffic. If we can slow down the vehicles getting to it, then there's more chance of that traffic like that traffic just like clearing up by the time all of this traffic gets there. Whereas if we just send all this traffic in 70 mile an hour, then the traffic jam will like last longer because more cars are getting to it. If you know what I mean. So my subconscious brain has actually been very clever in terms of fixing traffic there. No, because look down here, there's hardly any cars on this road at all. It's <laughs> it's been fixed. It definitely it's definitely because of this reason. Definitely. So nice. Well, that's been going on. I've actually been making some fat stonks. So I'm going to start paying off my loan again. We'll pay back 1.4 mil. So our interest rate is 16.9% rather than 20. Except. So that technically means we're making even more a month. Ah, oh, nice. The first vehicles have made it round the traffic calming tornado, I think I'll call this. And by the way, this is on three times speed. Normal speed, cars, <laughs> cars move that slow. Yeah, the speed limit's pretty brutal up here. But that's cool, though. There's technically no height limit to, like, highways now. You've just got to use that technique, which did take me quite a long time. I'll, I will admit that. But tornado, I'd say worth it, right? I should probably go see, like, what actually needs fixing. Oh, people are complaining about being dead. Yeah, there's quite a few people complaining that they're dead. Mm. The thing is, I don't think I'm quite making enough money where I can I can hop back down the hole with a, with a cemetery. Back down here in Architect Hell, I don't know if it's worth putting one in yet. Well, actually, we don't even, we don't have employees down here. Lack of high school labor. What? This is Engertopia. Oh, no, we're lacking high school. Why is everyone... The company cannot find enough employees with higher education levels. Well, why not? We are educating people, are we not? Oh, oh. So it looks like whilst I've been growing, my university, college and high school, like they're all pretty sorted. I failed to add elementary schools. We have 4,800 eligible students that are all going to turn into architects. I need to get onto schools fast. Now they cost 100 grand. So every two hours I can build one. But I'm impatient, so I'm taking a 500 grand loan. So, schools, where do we want them? I think this area up here, uh, I think I might lose some shops, actually. So let's shove that around the edge like that. So that's one school, all of those happy. We've got people up this way that are miles away from a school. So let's try and shove one in. A little school on that edge. Yeah, that's good. That's made some people happy. Yeah, the bar's moving the right direction now. I just need like a couple more, I reckon. What I might do, just shove one on the coast there. Well, not a coast, on the on the riverbank. Right by the bridge to Architect Hill. So people can literally learn. They're like, if you don't go to school, look out the window. That's where you'll end up living on Architect Island. So that's good. We can still use a few more schools, though. Now, everywhere's sort of happy with schools, apart from pedestrian-only place, but don't really care about that place. Yeah, there's definitely a lack of schools, like, in the middle over here so let's try and shove one in maybe there it will destroy quite a few houses all right that's in and our capacity is now six thousand so we should be able to get the poorly educated and educated back up and then well educated and highly educated that will just follow cool and then just going to cheer people up by adding a few parks about the place so it will shove as many down as we can all right three on the end of oak street that is that is beautiful well, I think that's pretty much cheered everyone up. They're still complaining about unreliable mail service. Hang on, do I have... Oh, do I not have a post office built? So I built all the, <laughs> I built all the mailboxes. I didn't build a post office. All right, so I'll wang that down over there. I think I'll upgrade this just to do everything. More post vans, always a good shout. Okay, so post vehicles. I got two post offices in, so there's loads of vehicles going about now. That should cheer everyone up. And I'm pretty sure that actually should give us a bit of extra cash in terms of more power produced, right? So yeah, efficiency, we got the mill handling minus 10%. That should be removed, which means more power produced, which means we can sell that and get more cash as well. Decent. Now, in the meantime, I feel like this side of the city is actually... It's looking pretty good. It's pretty dense, I will not lie. But over on the other side, it's completely bare. It's just, it's just a forest. So what I may do, I may start developing this area, which means I'm going to need another bridge going across as well. Now, I've got to make sure I don't connect it up to this place because this is our pedestrian only area. We don't want we don't want people to be able to drive to this place. It's strictly rail access only. Actually, maybe maybe I could keep like the promenade, like the seafront as pedestrian only. So if we go from here, 
How smooth can I get this as a curve? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, no, it's not good, though, because that bit isn't prominent. Like, why does it do that? It puts a non-stupid edge on the edge. Take two. I've got to pay closer attention. So that looks like, yes, that is all a seawall or a key spelt with a Q. So that is exactly what I want. Round here, if we go to that point and then wrap up there, I think that's pretty good. Oh, yes. Then up to that point, and I think that's probably a good place to end this key. But yeah, I think I then need to do a little bit of leveling, then a bit of softening. All right, then I need to decide where my bridge is going to go. Now, I don't really want to knock down any, any big buildings. Perhaps, though, it can sort of come off that corner and head over that way. So let's say it comes in over there. Try and leave a bit of a gap. And then I'm just going to grid this place up, but mat style which means curvy grids. Then, of course, add a school, add all the other essentials. And then along the front, I want medium density with shops underneath. Oh, perhaps some new signature buildings. So that's all of those behind them. I mean, we've only really got demand for low density. So I guess that's what we'll do. So, and at least it means all these houses, they do have places to shop, which is very nice for them. Anyway, all of those are in. I've just realized I've just built houses on where my bridge is going to go. But uh, I need to get to the next level before I can afford the ultimate bridge that being the grand bridge but uh perhaps for now i can put like a little a placeholder bridge in so i'm expecting four lane road it's going to be a little bit of demand i reckon but we come off this way head up and go right so we end up like that then straight bridge to there then a curve back down to ground level quickly wang a roundabout at that end probably that end as well and yeah, that's a nice little that's a nice little placeholder bridge, I reckon. Now, with building more homes and stuff, we are finally getting more population come, which in the long term means more money, which of course means more vanity projects. Lovely. But priority should probably be finishing this one and then also also sorting out this poo because this is well, this is quite an environmental disaster now. So we will have to try and prioritize that next time. But I think for today, we definitely achieved because as you enter Engetopia, you now witness this beauty, this behemoth of a traffic calming measurement. So for now, I guess we'll say peace, love and traffic nados. Bye, guys.